Now page four, elections have consequences for our constitutional republic. Boy, do they. With the Democrats in control of the House of Representatives, we are watching fundamental and radical changes to the manner in which the Article I branch of government operates. Case in point, the House Oversight Committee. This is a crucial committee with a crucial assignment, oversight of our government, oversight of the people who run things, who investigate things, and who make decisions that affect all of us. And so who does Nancy Pelosi name to the Oversight Committee? Radicals, four of them. Rashida Tlaib of Michigan, Ayanna Presley of Massachusetts, and Ro Kahana of California. Those are three bad actors. They care not about the Constitution. They only care about advancing their anti-constitutional, anti-American agenda. So who is the fourth member of the House Oversight Committee? Hint, she's the youngest member of Congress. She is from New York. She's an unabashed socialist, and until recently, she was a bartender. Say hello to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. So if you're keeping score at home, four radicals, four reasons to be afraid, very afraid. Millennials and people and, you know, Gen Z and all these folks that come after us are looking up and we're like, the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. And you're big okay, so a couple things here. Uh, number one, um, congratulations, public school system. You produced another moron. Uh, and it's only because you've indoctrinated this moron and, and, and many others into actually believing that my SUV is causing the world to heat up. Or, depending on what day it is, it's heat up. The next day it could be cooled down. That somehow mankind has the ability to affect the weather. You know, cloud seeding. We still try and go up there and, and seed the clouds once in a while, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, it shows you how fallible mankind is in trying to affect the weather on this big blue and green planet. We simply don't have the ability. So that's number one, the indoctrination, congratulations, it works. But number two, more importantly, this one knows the difference because this one has been educated somehow, some way by the radical left, indoctrinated as well, about what climate change is really all about that green is the new red, and that's what she is. She is a communist. She's a Marxist socialist through and through, using the guise of climate change to impose the Marxist socialist philosophy on us all. And she let it slip. She, she showed a little ankle on this, saying, yeah, we need to have this uh, exorbitant tax rate of 70%, maybe more, um, on climate change issues, uh, so we can pay for other programs. So she let it slip what it's really all about. Climate change is not about saving the planet. Climate change is about redistribution of wealth. And this woman is now the poster child. It used to be Al Gore. Now it's Ocasio-Cortez, the poster child for climate change. Roll tape. The biggest issue is... Your, your biggest issue is... How are we going to pay for it? And Stop the tape. Yeah, like this is this is what she always defaults to. How, oh, you know, we're going to figure out ways to pay for it. Same thing with uh, Medicare for all, right? Thirty trillion dollars over ten years, Medicaid or Medicare for all would cost the American people. That's approximately three trillion dollars more a year. And she said, oh, "Don't worry about it. We'll just raise taxes uh, on the wealthy." In the meantime, destroy their liberty and destroy, of course, the free markets and our free market system and destroy our economy. It doesn't matter because she's looking at the good for the people, ostensibly, but she's just no different from any other of the masterminds of the Soviet Union. She's just a, a reincarnation, if she even knows what the Soviet Union was all about. Roll tape. Like, this is the war. This is our World War II. Mm -hmm. And... There. Here is uh, another example of congratulations, public schools, for her to even compare the gobbledygook that she is talking about to the greatest generation. She doesn't know sacrifice. Everything has been handed to this young lady, including the job of being congresswoman. She kind of fell into it. She lucked into it. The greatest generation 
knows of sacrifice. Unfortunately, there aren't many of the greatest generation left. And to compare what she is trying to impose on we, the people, to World War II and the greatest generation is an insult to any thinking American. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.